So I just want to talk real quick about um, taking a table and writing a rule for it. And all these tables are going to be linear, um, straight lines. So we could graph these points, right? Th X is 3, Y is 13, X is 4, Y is 16, and go on. But let's do some analysis on this. So first thing that I'm going to look at is the differences. How is X changing? So on this one, I can see that X is changing by 1. And as X changes by 1, Y changes by 3. So that tells me it's linear, right? Changing by a constant amount. And as x is changing by 1, y is changing by 3. What this means for me is my rule is going to have a multiplier of 3 in it. Like each time x goes up by 1, each x is basically worth 3 y's, right? Like this went up by y, so this one, this went up by 1, so this went up by 3. So as long as x is going up by 1, there's my multiplier. And now I'm going to think about how far off am I, right? Like I want to take this x value, plug it into my rule, and it should spit out that y value. So let me plug in 3. So plug in 3, so I have y equals 3 times 3. And if I leave it like that, I'm only at 9. But now the question is, how far off am I? I got 9, but I want 13. So I could add 4 to this. And let me see if that works here. Uh, plug in 4. 3 times 4 is 12. And then add 4 is 16. Yeah, plug in 5. 3 times 5 is 15 plus 4 is 19. That works. Okay, so let's, let's take a look at this, at this next one then. We'll do the same sort of analysis. So first question is, how are x and y changing? So x is changing here by 2, not by 1. Whoops, not by 1, by 2. And y has to be, it looks like it's changing by 4. So now let's think about that. Every time x changes by 2, y changes by 4. Let's scale it down. We want to know what happens as x is changing by 1. So if I scale this down, if I say, if I cut this in half, I'm going to do the same thing with this. So as this is changing by 2, I want this to change by its amount, this would change by 2. So my multiplier is 2. In other words, um, as x changes by 1, this changes by 2, right? Because if this does two ones, 2, this does two twos, that gives me that 4. Let's see how far off I am. Plug that 4 into there. 2 times 4 is 8, but I want a 21. I'm a ways away. I've got to add something pretty big here. Um, I think 13. Yeah, let's, let's just try another point and see if that works. Plug in 10. 2 times 10 is 20, plus 13 is 33. That works. There's my rule for this. So let's do one more example. Let's do this one right here. Same analysis. It looks like x is changing by 2, right? But I want it to change by 1, so I'll have to scale that down. But y is only changing by 1. So if I have this jump of 2 as this does a jump of 1, I want x to change by 1, so I'm going to have to cut that in half. So if I cut this one in half, as x changes by 1, y changes by 1 half. So I'll have 1 half. You could use 0.5, of course, times x. Let's see how far off I am. Plug in the 4. Half of 4 is 2. i got to add 8 to get up to that 10. Right? Half of 8 is 4. Add 8 to get to the 12. There's my rule for that. All right. I hope this helps.